Hey guys, it's Kaz here, aka Cats and Camera, and today I'm doing my March book haul. Not gonna lie, I bought some books. Let's get into it. <laughs> Percy Jackson and the Singer of Apollo by Rick Riordan. This is the World Book Day book, which was on the 7th of this month, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was only like 88p on Amazon, so I was like, alright then. Next I picked up a bunch of manga. I was recommended two series. So first up I picked up volumes 2 and 3 of Zombie Loan. This series is about a girl that can see these rings around people's necks when they're getting close to dying and then also these people that may or may not already be dead and are collecting people that should be dead because the bands are there but they're not dead for some reason. I also picked up a bunch of volumes of Demon Diary. I did pick up some of these at the beginning of the month and then some of them at the end of the month so they do seem like a lot and that was volume 2 through to 7. So we have number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. But also what I literally found out yesterday when I was collecting all my books together, I accidentally picked up number 4 twice. I must have stopped at number 4 at the beginning of the month and then forgot I picked up number 4 and then towards the end of the month got it again so that's the thing. Hopefully this is my favourite volume. But yeah, the first volume of this was really funny. It's about this demon master who's really shit at being a demon master and then the other demon master that's trying to teach him to be angry and aggressive and mastery. It's just like so done with him and it's really fun. So that's why I picked up loads of volumes of this one. And this one twice by accident. Unicorns and Rainbow Poop by Sam Cadence or Cadence, who knows. This is actually the second book in a series, but I did have a look and it's like a companion series, so it doesn't matter that it's the second book. And it seems like each book in this companion series follow a different member of this boy band. One came out as gay and some of the other ones weren't a fan of it. This guy has got body dysmorphia. Someone dies, but it seems right on my alley because gay and harrowing things happening. Next up, I got three books at The Works, and if you don't know what The Works is, it's this shop in England that sells a bunch of really cheap books and stationery and, like, little toys and stuff like that. First up, I have no idea if I'm going to like this because it seems like it's a book that's very, sort of, split, whether people love it or hate it. But I thought it was a pound brand new, so I might as well give it a go. And that is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Honestly, I don't know much about this other than it's a really popular book on BookTube, and I feel like reading some popular books and doing sort of a series or a video or something to do with that and potentially I'll put this in that video when it ever happens but yeah I think this is like privileged people and stuff's happening and people are lying about it I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it but we shall see next up I picked up a book that I've never heard of but it sounded pretty interesting again this was a pound brand new so why not and that is The Definition of Us by Sarah Harris this seems like a road trip kind of thing a bunch of kids therapist goes missing and they borrow a van this was me trying to do this but i had another book in my hand yeah they borrow a van and the last thing i picked up in the works is something completely different and this was only two pound so this is called how to create fantasy art this just looked really cool and for two pound i couldn't pass it up we've got a bunch of weapons it's got different fantastical sort of eras you've got medieval you've got steampunk you've got gothic you've got urban so it seems pretty cool i don't know if i'll ever use this like as a step-by-step -step guide which it does have in here this tells you how to draw an orc but just as like a reference point i think it's really cool to have even like a motorbike for the urban fantasy it's just really cool and for two pound again i couldn't pass it up like a, a fairy it even shows you the colour palette and stuff like that, so that's the thing. Next I went to Nottingham to have a little peruse around the charity shops there. I did this last month and I found literally zero books and I was like, I'm going again damn it and I'm going to find some books. And luckily I did. First up I have Drowned Wednesday and Lord Sunday by Garth Nix. I have the rest of the series of this book. The rest of the series of this book. I have the rest of the books in this series and then these were the two that I needed so I was like you know what I might as well grab them they were like 99p each and it means I can read this series and hopefully it's good next I found this book called Orbade by Kenneth Martins I've never heard of this before but I had a look and this was actually written in the 50s let me just have a look yeah this was released in 1957 and the author was only 16 when he read it so I thought you know what that sounds like a really interesting premise and the fact that he was so young the fact that it was in the 50s the fact that it's a gay novel it says it's a classic gay novel so I wanted to check it out 
has sort of middling reviews on Goodreads. I think a lot of people, their main issue with it is the writing is not terribly great, but this guy was 16, he just wrote it, he managed to get it published. There's a letter at the beginning of it from the author, which I think will be a really interesting thing to read. And yeah, I just think that if you're into gay fiction, you should check out some of the classics as well to see where things sort of got started. And I just think it's really interesting that something like Maurice was written in the 30s, wasn't released until the 70s after the author died because it was so taboo being gay. He wrote it when it was literally still illegal. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we can have a 16 year old who's clearly openly writing a book about being gay in the 50s and managing to get it published as well. So I think it's a really interesting progression in the modern gay classics. So I'll be interested in reading this. And then these last three were all from the same charity shop. First up, I got Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. I think this is book three in the Vampire Academy or four or five. There's four pictures on the back, so this is book five, but I own the first two. I read the first one, I really enjoyed it. And this was cheap, so I thought, you know what, I might as well grab this. I've started the series, I would like to continue with it. So why not pick it up when I find it? And then these two are both true crime books. First, I found Columbine by Dave Cullen. This is a book that I've been really interested in reading for a long ass time, but even on Amazon in the second hand bit, it was always like seven pound more. And I found this for like two pound in a charity shop. It's a book that I've actively wanted to read. I think it's gonna be really interesting and eye opening. So definitely wanna to get to this. And I also picked up Deviant, the shocking true story of Ed Gain, the original psycho by Harold Shetcher. I'm gonna try and pronounce that, Shetcher, is that right? And basically, if you didn't know, Ed Gain was, was he a serial killer? Because in the beginning, he just dug up dead bodies and used them. I don't think he killed that many people, so I don't know if he was technically a serial killer, but he was a bit of a sick bastard. And if you didn't know, as it says on the cover, Psycho and Texas Chainsaw Massacre were all kind of, took aspects of Ed Gain because he would wear pieces of people's bodies, like the mask in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. For example, he had a belt made of nipples and he had bowls made of skulls and just crazy stuff like that. This book was written in the 80s, I think, so I don't know what it's gonna be like to read, but I do think this will be interesting to read. Fun fact, the first time I ever heard of Ed Gain was it from the Mudvayne song, Nothing to Gain. So there you go, I'll link that below if you wanna check it out. I also picked up a volume of Preacher, All Hells Are Coming. This is a series I've just been collecting as and when I find them. I think I've only got one or two volumes left and then I'll have the whole collection. So yeah, there we go. I don't know what number this is. It's quite far in anyway, it's towards the end of the series. This is about a guy who gets this thing inside of him and then he can say whatever and people will do whatever he says. And then there's an Irish vampire and there you go. It's very gory and adult, mature content, yes. I also got my first ever physical book to review. This is The Lights by Nathan Kuzak. I got this from the author. There's something happening, people are getting taken away. Some people think it's a rapture, but then also it's probably aliens. So I thought that sounded pretty cool. Hopefully I like this, it sounds interesting. I like sci-fi, but I hardly ever read it, so hopefully this is a good one. And the last two books I picked up. First, I got The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, volume two from Cash Converters. It was $1.99. I have the first volume. I've not read it yet though, but it was so cheap I thought, why not pick it up? And there you go. And last but certainly not least, I got Piecing Me Together by Renee Watson. I don't know a lot about this. I feel like it's something I've heard a bit about. I think it came out like last year and it was only $1.99 in a charity shop, really good quality. So I thought, why not grab that? And I think it's a little bit of social commentary about being black and going to a fancy school and conflicting feelings, stuff like that. Also, I really like this cover. Not that I really care about covers, but it's pretty, right? So there we go. Those are all the books that I bought in March. Let me know down below what you picked up in March or if you've read any of these, then let me know what your thoughts about them. Did you like them? Did you not? Do you think I should read them soon? Do you not care? Let me know. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of my others. And if you continue to enjoy them, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Anyway, guys, I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye.